LJN had a breakout year. Oh, great. <laughs> I've been looking forward to LJN. Uh, what does that stand for? LJN, let's just not. 1987 was the first year that LGN started publishing games on the NES. Now, LGN gets a bad rap for, for good reason for a lot of their games that, you know, aren't the best sort of quality that, that are published. But in 87, they had three that stood out. They had Karate Kid, Jaws, and Gotcha. LGN was actually a toy company that uh, was associated, had a parent company of MCA, which was this big media conglomerate in terms of movies and music, et cetera, et cetera. And they were definitely great at getting, securing the rights to these movies, like Jaws, like The Karate Kid, like Back to the Future, et cetera. Uh, first we had Gotcha, mm -hmm. which was, uh, which made use of these NES Zapper, which was always a good thing. Yeah, it wasn't bad. No, I actually liked that game. Yeah. Gotcha was cool because it's basically like a capture the flag game. Right. Using the Zapper, but you also control your movement left to right in first person using the control pad. And LJN also had Jaws. The point of the game is to defeat Jaws by collecting shells, leveling up, and ultimately just stabbing him with your boat. You build up your quantity of shells to trade in for more powerful spears, and along the way you fight Jaws every now and then. The iconic movie Jaws. Uh, Karate Kid. Oh, Karate Kid was hard. It's based upon the first two Karate Kid movies. And Karate Kid was a game that I love the, for the first five minutes because you're playing the tournament at the end of the first movie. After that, when you're playing part two of the movie, it stinks. What's, what's interesting is that the reason LJN was even created was to bypass the whole, you can only make a certain amount of games for Nintendo at a time. So LJN is actually a subsidiary of Acclaim. LJN is associated with Acclaim. Everyone assumes that they were all made by horrible people, but when you look, some of the, the most hated LJN games are made by companies such as Rare or Atlas, you know, and these are companies that are just cutting their teeth. 